Eight to shoot. Avon Smith off the glass and in. Franklin, nice feed, and it's Davon Smith, the benefactor. Holding opponents to 38% from the field. Uh, defending the three-point stripe at 25%. Debo Colvin knocks down the triple. That's what Georgia Tech's been waiting on this week. Miles Kelly, Jagged's leading scorer so far. Reverse lay-in. Oh, that was pretty. Smith running the paint and flushes it home. 11-0 run and a 9-0 run. We'll be back with first half back. And Georgia Tech in full control early. Howell finally gets North Alabama on the board with his three ball. Six foot seven, forward, sophomore to Coffee Springs, Alabama. Susie running the floor. Finishes on the left side. And it rattles out. Giants will play fast. They're not, they're not afraid to get up and down right back at the Jackets. Johnson to the rim again. Back-to-back -back buckets for K.J. Johnson. And it's Lance Terry pushing it forward for Georgia Tech. He finds Jalen Moore. Back to Terry, top of the key, buries it. Terry the transfer out of Gardner-Webb. We'll see another look at Terry. He's got nice form. College Park, Georgia. Terry's got a nice claim to fame, or bragging rights at least. Uh, his junior year of high school defeated Anthony Edwards, the NBA <laughs> star, in the high school championship game. Miles Kelly to Howard. Kelly down the lane and to the bucket. Howard looking inside, finds more, goes to work. 12 to 21 points in the paint for Georgia Tech. Damian Forrest can't counter. Oh, he can. Cleans it up for North Alabama. Lead back to 10. Lane inside. Broster with the right hand finish. KJ Johnson pushes ahead. Johnson to the rim, swatted away by Javon Franklin. Susie left side, there's a swat from Smith. Uh, surpassed a 900 point clip in the game against Hampton, so certainly KJ, a guy that can find the bucket, score. Open look, Lance Terry knocks it down. They haven't made more than seven this year. They've done that twice, including that loss against Marquette a couple nights ago. Something that we've been waiting to see. Hey, Terry running the floor and getting the finish. Susie is looking for Johnson, had it swatted away. Yellow Jackets have numbers. Debo Coleman to the rim. Kind of got out of the way at the end. <laughs> Debo had the advantage. Jackets with their largest lead now up. 15, like that 13. The Lions just seven of 24 from the field, shooting 29%. <laughs> when, when the guy's 10 years old, that's a good eye. Chikari Lane knocks down the 15 footer. Or uh, North Carolina. Daniel Broster rattles it home for the Lions. Legs are going. Old age, man. No, you can still get up there. Davon Smith, short. Howard had the rebound, lost it, got it back. Just caught it, went right up. Flush, easy two for the Jackets. Up 16 now. Jakari Lane rattles it in. He's got four for North Alabama. Lane, the hero, a couple nights ago against Hampton. Game-winning and one with five seconds left. Oh, that was nice. Reverse lay-in. You know, know your role, know your strengths, and play to them. You know, I like him in dribble-drive situations, posting up a smaller guard. 
three guys all over him. Swarmed at the rim, and here comes Georgia Tech with numbers. Moore with the finger roll finish. He's got potential. Keep working on the skills, work on the mind, the IQ. He's got to stay with it. Miles Kelly extends the largest lead of the game for Georgia Tech. He's got eight in the first half. Broster rolls in the three ball. 18 made field goals, so that's 50%. So Jack is real clean in the first half offensively. That was good math. I thought it was going to be an odd number. All right. Hey, I earned that degree <laughs> from the flats, man. It, was, it wasn't easy. <laughs> he had 25 points, 19 boards collectively in two games. He also had six blocks and five steals. He's a tre tremendously active player. Can't spend a lot of time probing and just, uh, you know, surveying. Will Susie with a finish on the left side. Coleman left wing buries it. Debo Coleman with his second triple of the game. That gets him to double figures. He's got 10 today. Jackets going for a post-ISO situation. Height advantage all day right there. Coach Pastner. Johnson, long three, and the foul. You know, the little things, the intangibles of, of, of knowing the clock, knowing the situation, where the Jackets can continue to improve as a team. Miles Kelly running the floor. Sixth game in double figures this season for Kelly. Midway, midway point for them. Tough schedule. Sturdivant left side. And he rattles it in. Kyle Sturdivant going straight to the rim. Eight to shoot. Italian Brown knocks it down from the left elbow. Jakari Lane. Takes it out. Brown to the rim. Yeah, it, it will definitely be a sum of the parts effort, and but they really need the softs to take that next step in right. development. You know, more Coleman. You can't have those lapses your sophomore year, and that sometimes makes the difference. North Alabama capitalizing on the turnover. There's some of the bounce from Bryson Dawkins. Well, you mentioned the ace. Uh, they've already got a marquee win this season. Opening night, Bellarmine, the reigning conference tournament champions, took down Louisville on the road as Franklin pours it in. Now, Louisville, obviously, international prospects coming over. Uh, every year you see it. You know, there's, there's low majors knocking off high majors early on in the season. Another cleanup effort there for Bryson Dawkins. Freshman has six, and here he comes. Make it eight. Bryson Dawkins. Solid performance by Dawkins. More wide open. Rebounded by Davon Smith. Smith back to the rim, and he puts it in with the second effort. Had it way too easy, taking it right to the heart of the lion. <laughs> See what you did there. North Alabama now seven of nine. 10 on the shot clock. Terry drives left side. And Smith, long two off the rim and in. Swatted away by the Lions. It was Dawkins had a hand on it. Brown to the rack, off the glass and in. Can't do so, but Franklin cleans it up. And Franklin. Moore with four. Moore spins around with two. And it rattles home. Jalen Moore. Uh, but hopefully we'll get a little shot of confidence and um, we really got to learn to close out games. 40 minutes hard. Uh, it's a tie ball game in the second half. Lance Terry elevates and executes. Under a minute left. Roster with the right hand flush. A lot of success at the high school ranks and is 
Done a great job in the Yellow Jacket uniform. He's now a senior walk-on. Dawkins underneath. And scraps another two points. Here we go. Bryson Dawkins clear for takeoff. As the Yellow Jackets wrap up a victory and improve to four and two on the season. 80 to 61, 19-point victory and a nice way to bounce back with a double.